She Glam, I'm going to need y'all to step y'all cookies up. Because what is this? So y'all thought y'all ate? I'm confused. Y'all thought y'all ate? Hey y'all, what's up? This your girl Kia Shalante. If you don't know, now you know. Back with another video. Hope everybody is doing well. Hope everybody is mentally doing well. If you're new here, what's up? What's good, baby? Brrr. And if you already a subscriber, thank y'all so much for the love and support. Y'all just don't know how much that means to me. Let's get into this video. So we are doing a She Glam haul, um, She Glam makeup haul. If you don't know what She Glam is, it is Sheen or Shein, however y'all pronounce it. Um, it is their makeup collection, which is She Glam. Okay, when it comes to Shein, Shein, their clothes, okay. Bomb, bomb, bomb. Okay, so I was like, let me spin my coins to see how good is their makeup. I have dark spots, I have wrinkles under my eyes, I have sensitive skin, I have eczema, and your girl is a brown skin girl. I can definitely test out She Glam makeup products and I could be honest with y'all and let y'all know the real real, okay? Period. I am super excited, y'all. I hope y'all are too. So without further ado, let's vibe. Starting with the face, I purchased all these foundation shades. I didn't know my correct shade, so I ended up purchasing all these, which these was 69 cents. On the packaging, it says it is Skin Influence Full Coverage Foundation Balm. Get a high coverage, flawless application faster than ever with a few strokes of a makeup brush. Mmm. Non-greasy formula. Okay. Long lasting. Mmm. Suitable for sensitive skin. Just note these are samples, okay? These are not the full size. I did do the tester, the, the foundation shade tester. And it says that I was this shade. And this shade is super, super dark. Ooh, y'all, this is creamy. Yeah. This is like a um, contour shade. So I could keep this for, you know, contouring. But yeah, this is definitely not my shade. But it is so freaking creamy. Like, y'all see how blendable this is? Yeah, that's very, very creamy. This is the shade Hazelnut. It might be my shade. This is hazelnut. Okay, hazelnut. And hazelnut can definitely be my shade. Yeah, hazelnut could definitely be my shade. This is mocha. So mocha is a lighter than hazelnut. So I know this not my, this may not be my shade. Did you see how lighter it is? Um, this is sandal, sandalwood. So this is the color. Okay. Ooh, that just blended right in. Okay, she glam. Okay. This is nutmeg. This is a little light. Creamy, creamy, creamy. Yeah. I figured this was light. Dark glove. This is for my dark skin girls. Okay. I could tell this shade is gonna be light. Yeah, this shit is definitely light. Oops. Yeah, that's super light. Sapia, S-E-P-I-A. This looks a little dark. Y'all yeah. see how buttery and creamy this is? I went ahead and purchased this foundation brush from She Glam, and it's gonna be right here with the price. And it's supposed to glide on the foundation. So I am using the shade Hazelnut. Y'all, so freaking creamy. I already prepped and primed my face off camera already. So let's dive in. Ooh. 
I'm liking the coverage. Okay, the real test, the real real is my tattoos. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. have a new foundation y'all a lot of makeup artists do not do this because they are against putting foundation on somebody's neck don't take the whole thing and just paint it okay we're not painting your neck we're just taking the foundation that you have on your face to just blend it down on your neck okay that's that's all we doing and don't be talking about my five head okay Now the next thing that I purchased was the She Glam Concealers. This is in the shade Honeycomb and in the shade Walnut, my concealer shade, and then this is gonna be my highlight shade. Now I did purchase brushes. I also purchased the Beauty Blender eggs. This is what the wand look like. And it does pick up, you know, a good amount of product. So I'ma let the concealer just dry down. Give it like 60 seconds. I'ma take the sheet glam brush and I can say with the brushes, it tells you what to use it for. So this says flawless concealer brush. So off the reel, the concealer is very blendable. Mm, it is for coverage, you guys. Y'all, I did not know what shade to pick out. Kudos to me picking out this shade. It's giving flawlessness. I'ma take the lighter shade and pop that in the inner corner. Let that dry down. The texture of the concealer, it is very, very creamy. It's not giving, it dries quickly. That's why I'm able to dry it down for like 60 seconds because i know y'all probably experienced some concealer as soon as you pop that bitch on you gotta y'all it's drying like especially those oh um those elf concealers the one in the black top as soon as you do this y'all go hurry up hurry up hurry up hurry up because it's gonna dry down so 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 fast it's gonna dry down so so fast it's giving me it's hydrating and when you blend y'all make sure you are looking up why you want to look up is because when you blend like this your lines are visible but when you look up your lines disappear Ooh, y'all i'm loving the coverage Now y'all see that tattoo disappear. Mm -hmm. So I did purchase setting powder. So this is called the She Glam Insta Ready Face and Under Eye Setting Powder Duo. And I purchased two shades. It comes with the powder. This is translucent. This is the pressed powder. Bam, 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 bam. Bam. So this is that shade. This is the shade Toasted Almond. So it's the same way. Pop that off. Dang. Comes like this. Like this. This is why scented powder is so important. Some people do not believe in setting your face, and I completely understand. But 
a girl like me, a makeup artist like me, I'ma set your face. Even if you got, cause I got dry skin, I got sensitive skin, but you can use a little and then come back in with some sudden spray. Even if your skin is dry after putting on that powder, pow, 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 you good to go, baby. You good to go. The thing about translucent powders is some, some companies be like, this is translucent and it really just leaves a white cast. I'm gonna take a beauty blender, take some water. Never, never try to blend with the drop. Y'all, never try to blend with the dry beauty blender, ever. Ever, 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 ever. I don't care if you use water, you use setting spray, whatever. It needs to be hydrated. Of course, if you are seeing lines under your eyes and it's settled already, that is absolutely fine. Go back in and just blend it out. You see, that's it. Toasted almond, okay. Look up, look up. Some of that translucent. You want to press that powder in there. Press it, press it, press it. Press it in there, y'all. You want to press it, press it, press it. I am loving this. Y'all see it just snatched my under eyes. And you see the full coverage. Baby, I might switch to She Glam. Okay, for my makeup. Because it's giving. It really just snatched everything. Now, the next thing, this is called She Glam. Sun Sculpt Liquid Bronzer in the shade Camille Suede. So it's this liquid bronzer. I don't know, it looks weird to me because a bronzer is supposed to be like a reddish tone shade. And this looks more like a contour shade. I mean, it's doing what it's supposed to do, but just make sure that you know it's not giving bronzer shade, it's giving more like a contour shade. But it's cute though, but it's cute. But it is misleading. Just make sure y'all know it is contouring versus bronzing because I don't want y'all to be misled but it is doing what it's supposed to do which is sculpting my face go back in with the brush this is a blush brush and this is supposed to be used with the blushes now these blushes is literally going viral they say like these blushes is the S-H-I-T, so your girl had to try it, okay, to see is it worth the hype. So this is called Swipe Right. And this is just like the contour, quote unquote, bronzer. It is in the same packaging, it's wet. So this is what it looks like using this blush. I like to put my blush high. Now, I gotta talk to the girls and guys that do not use blush. What's the issue? Taking the blush brush? What's the issue, y'all? I'll be seeing some bomb makeup looks. But y'all don't use blush. I'm confused because blush is going to give the girls and the guys that, uh, that, rah. yeah, y'all not, what's the issue? Do y'all think y'all gonna look like clowns? Cause a girl like me? Oh, I'm heavy handed with the blush. 
heavy handed. Real bad. Why y'all don't use blush? Like the blush is for the girls that get it. And the girls that get it, get it. And the girls that don't, don't. And clearly y'all don't get it because y'all haven't got it. Okay, skirt. Like what, what's the what's the real reason? Cause I wanna know. Cause I wanna know. Baby, I wanna know. Cause y'all won't be using blush. This brush is doing the job. I'm going back in with my um concealer brush. First impressions is cute, but it doesn't really give off that pow pow. You know what I'm saying? Like it's settled. So if you like something that's settled, if you like a oh she got it on, you know, it's it's giving a little cute reflection. So yeah, this is for you. Now, if you're heavy-handed like me, um, I will probably layer it, maybe like mm, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You know what I mean? Like, I will layer it, layer it, just to give that coverage like I like it. But this is cute, though, for the girls that's just like a little pow-pow. Okay, I'm cute. You know, if you like me, that like a bra bra Y'all see how that blush just brings my face out? I did get this highlighter from She Glam and it's called Cosmic Crystal Mousse. Put it right here. Ooh, okay. Very much settled. I mean, you can add how much you want. Oh yeah, that's cute. Now next, I'm gonna try this She Glam Waterproof Tinted Eyebrow Cream right here. And it's supposed to be 12 hours of long wear. So this reminds me of a brow pomade. So it comes with the brush. And this is actually dark brown. Taking the brush, brushing my brows up. Ooh, okay. This is like the perfect brow shade because it really matches my brows. It's giving natural, it's giving uh, it's giving ah, uh, it's giving ooh, it's giving mm, it's giving la, it's giving sh, it's giving ooh, it's just giving a, it's giving rah, it's giving what it, what it. Yeah. Okay, eyebrows done, and this is what it's looking like. Okay. Now, I did purchase some eyeshadow palettes. Um, I actually purchased four of them. This is called the Flutter Effect. Pretty, 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 pretty colors. Thin Within. Super, super cute. Wolf Calls. Okay. You got some gray, some blue, that purple. Smart Cookie Palette. Okay. Just a neutral shade. Um, first impressions, I really thought this palette was going to be darker. First, I'm going to prep my eyelids. I'm using the concealer. It is definitely full coverage. I'm just going to tap this into this dark blue right here. And just by my first impressions, the color is picking up very, 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 very well. So let me see how well it's going to blend. So I'm just going to pat it on the outer. Oh, wow. Okay. 
So I got the blue on there. Blue shade right here. So this is the first shade. This is that dark blue. And I'm gonna just use this light blue to blend everything out. Y'all. Y'all see that pigment? Go in. And I'm gonna just tap it on first. Tap it on first. Once it's tapped on, I'm gonna blend it out. And I'm blending out that harsh line that was on that dark blue. I'm gonna go back in with that first brush and that first blue color and just blend that out so it could blend well with that light blue. Yeah, I am definitely loving this palette. It is blending well. It is picking up color well. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut the crease. Yeah, this is like the lazy way to cut the crease. Not perfect, but we're just gonna make do what it do. Okay, so this is what it's looking like. It is the laziest way to cut your crease. Just put the product on there and smooth it out. So it is not the sharpest or anything, okay? Just to let y'all know. I'm gonna go in with the outer first, which is that blue, that dark blue. I'm gonna take a tapered blending brush and I'm just gonna put mm, this purple pinkish shade called Coat Tail. Then we're gonna take this flat brush. It's called Short Shader Brush number three and dip into that yellow. These are very, 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 very fluffy. I'm gonna cut some off. She Glam Smart Cookie Palette. So I think I'm gonna cheat just a little bit, y'all. Just a little bit. Now this is the only thing that I'm doing a little cheat cheat on. So it's crazy to me. A lot of people do not wipe your lips or wipe their lips when they put on lipstick, lip gloss, whatever the case may be. Like. Is it me, but makeup be getting on my lip? And yes, I'm over outlining my lips. Y'all, I love the feel of this. This liquid lipstick is the bomb. It feels so, 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 so good. Yeah having my makeup on for nine hours and just now coming back from a hour and a half workout this is what my makeup look like i look like a grease ball however at least the makeup is intact so it really doesn't look that bad y'all don't see any patchiness Y'all don't see any streaks or any lines. Definitely want to do this test for the girls that get sweaty and that has oily skin. Thank y'all so much for watching this video. If y'all haven't already, please subscribe, like, comment, share, all that good stuff. And I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.